to an all-new Eye of the Tiger. I'm Joseph Bianchini. With the school year winding down, RHS is soon going to ask students to return textbooks. On-campus students will have to communicate with their teachers for which specific days they can turn their books in. Off-campus students can return their books May 24th and 25th from 1 to 3 p.m., May 26th from 4 to 7 p.m., and May 27th from 1 to 3 p.m. Additionally, RHS is asking seniors to return their Chromebooks as soon as their Chromebooks are no longer needed for classwork or finals. Seniors must return their Chromebooks and chargers any day right after school. Seniors specifically attending school online can return their Chromebooks and chargers from May 17th to May 25th from 1 to 3 p.m., May 26th from 4 to 7 p.m., and May 27th from 1 to 3 p.m. In other news, Tiger Tutoring's final day of the school year is May 20th. And now we go over to Jackson Hooker with sports. Good morning, welcome to this Friday's edition of EOTSN. I'm Jackson Hooker. Last weekend, RHS athletes went to Vegas for a soccer tournament. We go to Hunter Hatch with more on the story. Last weekend, several athletes at Roosevelt High School participated in the Las Vegas Mayor's Cup International Soccer Showcase. Due to the lack of tournaments in California, many local teams found themselves participating in the four-game Vegas tournament. Uh, we went to Vegas because it was like the only tournament open and no tournaments are open in California and it's one of the biggest in the country so we went over there and we played our hearts out. Junior Nick Primavera and his team participated in the tournament. He had a great experience and was glad he was able to participate in such a large scale event. What I got out of it was a really dope experience and kind of a return to normalcy. Just being able to travel out of state and just compete. It's just an awesome feeling. The tournament was also a great opportunity for players to showcase their individual skills as there was many college scouts and recruiters attending the tournament. Tournament participant Tanner Duncan was happy with the amount of exposure at the tournament. In this showcase, it had a lot of college scouts, but no D1s were allowed to go, so it was just D2 and D3s and private schools. But there was La Liga there. Um, there were a lot of people there. It was pretty good. And in other sports news, last Tuesday, senior Braden Natole threw a complete game shutout, only allowing one hit, and he finished with 17 strikeouts and a 1-0 win over Bella Vista. Also, last Wednesday, junior Nick Primavera scored 25 points in an 85-66 win over Foothill. And that's on your home for Roswell High School Sports. Top plays break down some more. I Tiger Sports Network, EOTSN. And now we go over to entertainment. Welcome to this Friday's Entertainment News, I'm Isabella Foley. Resident Evil Village came out on May 7th of this year and it has every gamer playing it. Resident Evil Village is a horror survival game developed and published by Capcom. It's also a major installment in the series of games and a narrative sequel to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Players have been waiting for this game since it was announced at the PlayStation 5 reveal event in June 2020. Resident Evil Village has stunning graphics and a continuation of the previous game. It also has an online multiplayer mode for players looking to play with other players. It's perfect for fans of horror movies and scary things. I think this game offers a new level of quality to the series, so it can only get better from here. You can buy Resident Evil Village Standard Edition for $60, or you can buy one of the more expensive packs, such as the Deluxe Edition, the Collector's Edition, or the Complete Bundle, which includes both Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil Village. And now we go back to news. Thanks, Isabella. Recently, RHS's greenhouse has undergone beautification. We go to Chris Gibson with more. The greenhouse in Senior Square has been recently undergoing beautification upgrades. Science teacher CJ Addington quotes that upgrades are much needed and how he decided to take the job when the last science teacher decided to step down. Um, the, the last biology teacher that was here um, running the greenhouse before me uh, put in some black plastic pots on the side of the greenhouse and uh, originally the plan was to use them for vegetables and things like that. And then when he left, um, I trans transferred it over from vegetables to like herbs. So I didn't have to repot them every year. And so we've been growing things like uh, um, lavender and mint and things like that. But the years have gone by and it's just gotten kind of overgrown. And Addington states that a local Boy Scout has been interested in doing his eagle project on the side with the black pots to work on it and clean it up. I heard from uh, one of our local Boy Scout troops that there was a Boy Scout that wanted to do a, um, an eagle project and he had suggested doing the side of the greenhouse as his eagle project and when I heard about that I was like great that's a great idea. Um, so we've been talking about that and it looks like uh, once school gets out um, this year that he's going to be doing his project on the side of the greenhouse. The greenhouse beautification is ongoing. 
AP tests are upcoming next week. Here's next week's AP testing schedule. On Tuesday, English Lit and Comp at 9 a.m. and Comp Science at 1 p.m. On Wednesday, European History and U.S. History at 9 a.m. with Art History and Macroeconomics at 1 p.m. And on Thursday, U.S. Gov and Politics and Modern World History at 9 a.m. with Psychology at 1 p.m. And that's it for us today on Eye of the Tiger. Remember, we're always on at eyethetigernews.com. See you next time. Thank you.